What's going on everyone? I'm going to talk about The Revenant in the last year. This is probably the most talked about movie um, by me to friends, uh, to family, to co-workers, to everyone I pretty much know or I come across with that has seen this movie. Uh, this movie came out in 2015. It is directed by Alejandro G. In Toro, something I can't, I'm just going to say Alejandro G. He has done 21 Grams, he has done Birdman, he's done The Revenant. He's done some other stuff, some other stuff I have not got around to see. So I'm just going to name those three and those are probably the movies that everyone knows the best. In this movie, Leonardo DiCaprio plays Hugh Glass and the story goes as follows. When I say story, the story about Hugh Glass is actually a story. Now, the story has never been proven to be true. He himself has never written anything, but this is a story. Leonardo DiCaprio is in a group full of men that are traitors. They are trading animal fur and one of the, the men in the group is Tom Hardy who is playing John Fitzgerald. These men get attacked and they lose most of their goods that they were going to trade. Something happens to Leonardo DiCaprio where some of the group members decide that it is best to just leave him there for dead. Now this movie can be really enjoyable if you understand what you're getting yourself into and that is you're getting yourself into a movie about revenge but this is not your fast paced high octane revenge movie. It's very slow, it's very realistic and if you can understand that this movie is going to be very slow, very realistic and not such a fast paced revenge film, more of a survival film. This is more of a survival film. You could enjoy this and you, you might enjoy this film. And that is if you can get over the runtime of this movie, and this movie is two and a half hours long. I like this movie like so many other movies these days and past years. Uh, the entire movie of this is in the trailer. If you have not seen the movie and you have seen the trailer and you have somehow stumbled onto my, my stupid YouTube channel, you have seen the movie already. This, the entire movie of this is, is stuck in the trailer. I do have a few issues with this movie and that is the constant flashbacks of Leonardo DiCaprio's wife. It was just way too much flashbacks. They were done over and over and over again. At some point you're like, okay, I got it. Well, let me talk about things that I loved in this movie. Things that I loved in this movie, I loved the cinematography in this movie and I loved Tom Hardy. Those were the things that I absolutely loved in this movie. This movie can easily be the most beautiful movie you've ever seen. This movie is probably the best directed movie you could possibly see uh, coming by the way of Alejandro G he did an amazing job with this movie and he right rightfully so deserved that Oscar he got for uh, this film but to me this movie just falls kind of flat for my liking this movie starts off fast this movie starts off really really vicious with the fighting and then it just it's slow it's, it's just really slow and I understand that it's it's being realistic but it's a lot of men versus the elements, men versus the environment, men versus the wildlife for two hours and then the end resolution comes and it happens fast. It happens, you know, fast and quick and then roll credits and then the movie is done. This movie just does not have enough Tom Hardy for me. I love me some Tom Hardy. There's just not enough Tom Hardy in this movie being who he was in this movie and that was an absolute asshole. It, there's just not enough Tom Hardy being an ass in this movie. Now Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio to me did a fine job in this movie. I love Leo but I felt like not for this film should he have won. Not for this film. I felt Eddie Redmayne, uh, Eddie Redmayne should have won for the Danish girl um, but Leo won. You know congratulations to Leo and uh, he did a good job but I just felt like it, it wasn't enough for an, an Oscar win, but he did win. I love Leo, so congratulations to him. The acting was great in this. The movie was beautiful. This to, It was amazing to know that they used the actual environment light to shoot this movie. They did not use any CGI. They did not use any studio lighting. So that was pretty cool to know. Uh, this, the fighting in this is very violent. This movie fakes you, makes you feel very, very cold. There's things in this movie that just doesn't make sense to me. Like Leonardo DiCaprio has a son in this movie and the real Hugh Glass did not have a son. So I guess that's just to add something to the movie or to the character of Hugh Glass. I don't know, but the son, his son did not look like him at all. So that also rubbed me the wrong way. And there's the scene, you know, the bear scene in this movie 
which was great. It felt it seemed like the, he was fighting an actual beer. Leonardo DiCaprio was getting mauled by an actual beer. But just the thought he left his group, his son, in his group, where there were people in the group that did not like his son. He left his son with that group of people to wander out into the woods and then the bear attack happened. So it's just a couple things that just did not make sense for me. It's just one of those movies where it's just hard for me to grade. It's just hard for me to grade because I really did not like it like that, but it's such a the cinematography was so great in this. It just the the filmmaking aspect of it is how my, I just love the filmmaking aspect of this. So this was very hard for me to grade. You either loved it or you really didn't like it. And I'm just so in between. I'm really so in between. It's just one of the probably one of the hardest movies I had to grade. Uh, but I I love filmmaking so much. I just love the idea of just going for it we're shooting without no studio lighting we're shooting with no cgi the acting in this was great you know so i would have to say that the revenant is a 70 out of 100 i, I was going to go a little bit lower but i will always come back to watch this movie for tom hardy for the cinematography for alejandro's g's touches in this movie so i gotta say it's a good movie if you can truly understand what you're getting yourself into.